Hello there, fellow children. I have here. I am smoking in my Mario Grandi Vanilla Choice from McBerrens, and I do like it. Uh, this is gonna be finally my video response to Jay's January Do Good initiative. And I know it's late, but that's besides the point. I wanted to make this entry for quite a bit of time and I have several good responses uh, in line but uh, just yesterday I finished my taking the footage and some pictures that I wanted to show you and the reason why I couldn't go and I tried to go I was trying to actually from December but then I heard I heard my back then my ankle then my neck so everything was working against me so finally two weeks ago I went uh, and I just had a chance to take a couple of pictures because it was a hassle to actually get to the shelter despite the fact it's, it's just a 10, 10 15 minutes drive from, from my home but the map was just crazy and I'd never been there before and, and then I just had the chance to stay there for half an hour or so I just had a, a few snaps and I wanted to, to take some video footage and and more pictures and that's gonna be at the end of this video the slideshow and some of the the video that I took in the shelter so now as a general comment for for Jay's initiative which I think was fantastic in 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 the same lines along the same lines that I saw many entries on on his uh, video I would say that In order to do good, you don't necessarily have to compromise a lot of resources, and with that I mean money or, or, or other forms. I would say that in my case, what I try to do the most is, is having time and the will to help. And for a person like for a person like me, that is so hard to say no it, it basically comes with the job description so if you need me I'll be there um, no matter if we're acquaintances or, 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 or good friends I'll, I'll be there in well I mean you cannot argue with that because from time to time you find awesome projects and awesome experiences with that attitude and I think that's extremely important uh, the other the other thing that I try to do, but I don't succeed a lot doing that, is uh, giving giving people the benefit of the doubt. Trying to to put myself in other people's shoes and and how I would like to either be treated or having a second chance or whatever. Now, on the subject of the matter of the shelter, I'm being volunteering shelters about four years ago on and off I cannot say that it's every week sometimes it's four times a month every Sunday sometimes it's just once a month or perhaps every two months or so I've been trying to go to this shelter since December but then I hurt my ankle then my back then my neck like everything was working against me and finally last week last Sunday I could go uh, but it took me a while to get there uh, despite the fact that it's, uh, it's very near to where I live, but it took me about two hours to figure it out. So I just stayed there for about half an hour or so, and I just had the chance to take a couple of pictures, and and I wanted to take some video footage and and more pictures. So that's what you're gonna see at the end of of this entry. Now, this lady that runs this shelter is very close, very near to my heart because. She's the one who was uh, who had a shelter when I adopted my first pug, and when we transferred the dogs because they they forced her to close that uh, shelter to another shelter. We transferred about 50 dogs from the shelter that we transferred the dogs, and one of the original dogs from from her shelter, I adopted my sep my second dog Toto the Shih Tzu. So that's this is very special for me. Her and, and finally she. She had another place and, and she moved back their dogs because they were exposed to 
a pretty harsh winter outside etc so um, this is it's, it's fairly new in the term in terms of um, she hasn't been there for a long time and and she's there basically because other people's help and what we do is we gather a bunch of foreigners every Sunday and, and there are plenty of shelters to visit and that's what we try to do um, on the sad note this this Sunday uh, yesterday one of the dogs um, ran away and, and ran uphill and we were searching for, for, for him about 30 45 minutes I think I, I went uphill and then down and took the car went around that little mountain couldn't find it hopefully he he'll show up later on you will see in the slideshow uh, a, a dog that is biting the um, the leash and he runs free and I was snapping those shots and actually he ran free and, and that's when I actually put my camera down and start running <laughs> trying to catch him and on the on the lighter note two dogs are gonna be adopted and and that's just great great news for the puppies okay here it is um, um, next is gonna be a a video footage of um, the shelter the entrance some of the dogs inside and then the slideshow with the, some of the pics I took uh, last Sunday. With that, I will say my friends, puff away. All right, so um, this is uh, the shelter that is closer to where I live. It's, it's extremely close. It's in the border of the city. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of the entrance. There you go. There are some of the volunteers, some of the volunteers that came with me. And well, I will show you the rest in a minute. Alright, so we are here at the entrance. Here's the very entrance. A lot of people came today. Uh, here you can see a couple of the big ones. Come on hey, how's it going? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. And here's my favorite buddy. There you go. This is the doggy that can drag me. Oh, hey, what's up? That's a big poop. Oh god. Oh my god. And this is the big big buddy. <laughs> no, how, how well you can see him. It's, it is pretty big. And he can actually drag me very, very well. Him? So, yeah. He is huge, but yeah. I he's so pretty. Yes, he is. We are in the, in the main part of the cages and the small dogs are, and I'm going to give you a very short um, look around. Here are the biting ones. They love to bite, these ones. Having a walk now, and with me, um, you met him before. I don't know if you can see him. Um, I just found his name, and his name is Muddy. Okay, you want to say hello to the camera? Oh, that's my bag. Yep, 
Say hello. Who's a good boy? He's a very big and scared little puppy. Now it's better. Okay. Now you see after our a very uh, physical round of I want to play with the small dogs, which we cannot allow. He finally settled down a little bit. But let me tell you, it was a hassle. Yo adivino el parpadeo de las luces que a lo lejos van marcando mi retorno. Son las mismas que alumbraron con sus pálidos reflejos hondas horas de dolor. Y aunque no quise el regreso, siempre se vuelve al primer amor. La quieta calle donde le codijo Tuya es tu vida, tuyo es tu querer Bajo el burlón mirar de las estrellas Que con indiferencia soy me ven volver Volver La frente marchita, las nieves del tiempo platearon mi cielo. Sentir que es un soplo la vida, que veinte años no es nada, que febril la mirada errante en la sombra.